Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners 2018. My name is Matt Hulquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to go through uh, your bank feeds in QuickBooks Online because there's a couple of important things that sometimes get pretty confusing, uh, especially when you have, you know, various uh, transactions coming into your QuickBooks Online file. And what I mean by that is you might have, let's say, uh, Square payments coming in, Stripe payments, Amazon payments, you know, all these different avenues of getting paid and, you know, selling your product or your service or whatever the case may be. And so if you have this set up and, and this, uh, these deposits are coming into your account, it can get a little bit confusing, okay? So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm on the home screen here, and I'm going to go over to banking, okay? And you'll see that in this sample company file, we have these bank feeds already set up. We've got checking, savings, MasterCard, okay? And if you have not set up your bank feeds, this is a really great feature, okay? So what you want to do is you want to add an account, okay? So in this video, I'm not going to necessarily walk through how to add the bank feed, uh, because it is fairly self-explanatory. Uh, but what I do want to go through is uh, categorizing these transactions. Okay, so you'll see down below, uh, the bank feed will automatically bring in these transactions. All right. And you'll see that, you know, some of them say add and some of them say match. Okay. And this one here says view. All right. Okay, so when you're adding these transactions to QuickBooks, what you have to really be careful of is if this transaction is already in QuickBooks, okay? So for example, when it says there's a match, that means that it's matching something that you have already recorded in QuickBooks, okay? So, you know, this uh, bill right here for Hicks Hardware, uh, check number 75 is in the check register for 22875. Okay. So you went in, you paid your bills, and the 22875 was recorded in your check register. So when the bank feed comes in, it says, Hey, we downloaded this transaction for 22875. We see that it matches something within your QuickBooks. Okay. So when you say match, it basically, it doesn't bring this into your check register. It says it just matches it with what's already in there. Okay. So here's what I want to show you is, well, a couple things, but if you click on that transaction, so let's say, for example, sometimes, you know, it's not too intuitive. And let's say that you have two transactions in there for 22875 and it matches it to the wrong one. All right you're gonna have to pay attention to this. You can't just go through blindly and say match. You've gotta make sure that it matches the right transaction. All right, so what you do, you click on the record here and you say you've got these options, add, match, or transfer, okay? So it says, here's the record found, this check number, but let's say that it's a different one. Well, what you can do is click this find other records and it's gonna bring up the other records that are in uh, QuickBooks. So you can see right here that uh, this was multiple transactions and it, it matched up to 22875. All right. In your QuickBooks file, you're going to have probably more information than this. And what you can do is, you know, check off which ones it applies to. Okay. So here it says, if none of these groups look right, turn off suggested matches to see the full list. Okay, so you can uncheck that, and now you're going to see the entire list, okay, of everything that this could match. Okay, so let's go back here, because this is an error that QuickBooks is matching to. All right, so it says it's these four transactions, okay? So when you add up all four of these, it equals 22875, all right? It just so happens that it matches that transaction. Okay, but this is a mistake because let's go back to your bank feed. All right, it says 22875 record found check. Okay, and it's matching it to these four separate transactions. Okay, so that's why this is very important because when if you click match, it's going to clear off these transactions, and that's not what you want to do. Okay, so look up here and you'll see that there's another combination. There's five multiple. 
that it can apply to. It's not these either. It's the one check right here that it's going to apply to, 228.75. All right, so you want to make sure that you match it to the right transaction. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this. All right, and uh, it's going to go ahead and it should have matched that in there. I don't see it in here, so it should have matched that automatically. All right, so that's one thing to watch out for. Now, the second thing is oftentimes it'll bring something in like this Books by Bessie uh, received $55. So it's saying, okay, we don't see that you have recorded this in the register. All right. Well, here's the thing. If you did an invoice in QuickBooks for $55 and now it's showing the deposit, you do not want to hit add because that means that you have um, recorded. If you just click add, you're going to show a deposit for 55 and you're, you're still going to have the invoice out there for $55. All right. So essentially you're double counting income. All right. So in this case, again, you want to go and you want to find a match. All right. And in this sample file, there may not be a match, but you're going to look for the invoice that this is supposed to match to is the $55. Okay. So again, very, very important that, especially if it says just add, you want to make sure that you haven't already uh, included this as a payment received or as a, you know, a check written or whatever the case may be, because you may be inadvertently adding transactions when the transactions are already in QuickBooks Online. All right. So very, very important. So the bank feed can be an incredible tool to automatically bring in your transactions, but you do have to be careful of uh, just adding these transactions. And you do have to be careful of just matching the transactions. You wanna make sure that they're matching to the right transactions, all right? So for more training on QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop, you know, join me over at the QuickBooks University. That's at qbuniversity.org. We've got the, the training tutorials, and we've also got the uh, personal help by me uh, to answer your QuickBooks questions. Okay, head on over. Love to see you over there, qbuniversity.org.